This is Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to be doing a special video on how to dispute a copyright claim on YouTube. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. Here is my YouTube channel. You can see I have a copyright claim. This comes about usually by several different means for me. Uh, I'm not deliberately using music to uh, basically try to circumvent copyright law. Basically what I'm doing is I'm uploading videos either from TikTok or sometimes I'm creating a video on Canva and I'm using background music and then YouTube automatically flags it as a copyright violation. Here's how to deal with it. Uh, so first of all, uh, hover over copyright claim. It'll say see details. And then there'll, there'll be these messages up here. Uh, the most important one actually is channel impact, not affected. So this rarely happens to me, but I think if I did it enough and I didn't do anything about it, I'd start to see an impact on the channel. Uh, but this is this is also concerning. I can't monetize it. It's ineligible. Even though you're not in the YouTube partner program, ads may be showing on your uh, ads may be showing on your videos, and basically I can't monetize them. Also, later on, if I do turn join the YouTube partner program, this video cannot be monetized unless I take care of the issue. So there's a couple things going on here. Uh, first of all, if I keep the music on this particular video, the ad revenue will go to the copyright owner, but I can get rid of it. And by the way, this is a this is the copyright owner. I'm I'm not disputing that at all. And what what likely happened is I used their song on TikTok, which is permitted. But then I took the video and uploaded it to YouTube. And that the uh, clearance that I have on TikTok doesn't apply to YouTube. They're they're separate entities. So I have to do something about that. So select action. Uh, one thing I can do is I can replace the song. The other thing I can do is I can mute the song. I don't have enough time to deal with replacing the song. It's a. It's actually. A, it's a quite a pleasant song for um, for this video that I created. But I'm just going to mute the song just to take care of it. So, mute all sound when song plays. Remove all sound in your video while the claim song plays. This option is usually faster and more likely to remove the claim. The problem with this is that if I have narration at the same time, I might also that would also wipe out the uh, narration that I created. Fortunately, I didn't do that. It's just a song playing in the background and there's no there's no um, there's no other audio. So I'm just going to mute all so sound while the song plays. There's also an option to remove the song only keeping the rest of the sound. I haven't tried that out. It's not necessary here. So I'm just going to mute everything while the song plays. It's only a 30 second video. Click continue. And it says uh, mute all sound when song plays. This process may take a while. And then it says we'll update the um, copyrighted song dispute information if they determine that it, it's, it's no longer an issue for this particular video. So I'm just going to click uh, mute. Mute song is in process. And hopefully that will take care of the issue. And like I said, this has happened a couple times with me. This is a TikTok video that I uploaded. Another time I created a video in Canva. I used their background music. And then I got dinged when I uploaded it to YouTube. Um, and actually, in that particular case, I was able to submit a text response like why this didn't apply. Because in Canva, I have the pro level account. So this, this, um, this video should not have any issue with copyright. Uh, but it turns out that Canva has a special uh, app or some sort of back end thing you can hook up. So th these t sorts of issues are taken care of automatically. But in that case, I disputed it by a text, by a text message to YouTube and the copyright holder accepted it and I was good to go. For more information on how to get the most out of e-commerce selling, I have a whole blog and video section on my website devoted to it. Go to leemedia.org, click on blog or video. You can see all the stuff I have about using Amazon, Shopify, other types of platforms to uh, sell your goods or to uh, basically make your web game a bit better. Also, if you're following this video on YouTube, if you could like it and follow me, I'd be very grateful. This is Ian signing off. Thank you so much for watching.